हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम प्रतिभा जाधव असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर सायन्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट कम्प्युटर सिक्युरिटी देर आर डिफरंट टाईप्स ऑफ अटॅक विच कॅन बी इन्वॉल्व्ह वेन एव्हर यू आर कम्युनिकेटिंग विथ टू पर्सन दॅट इज सेंडर अँड रिसिव्हर दीज सिक्युरिटी अटॅक आर ऑफ टू टाईप्स पॅसिव अटॅक अँड ॲक्टिव्ह अटॅक पॅसिव अटॅक मीन्स अनऑथराइज रीडिंग ऑफ मेसेज ऑफ फाईल अँड ट्रॅफिक अनालिसिस मीन्स दे आर विल बी अनऑथराइज ॲक्सेस विथ द कम्युनिकेशन विच इज गोईंग ऑन बिट्वीन सेंडर अँड रिसिव्हर अँड ॲक्टिव्ह अटॅक मीन्स इट इज नॉट ओनली ऑब्झर्विंग द डेटा मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ मेसेजेस ऑर फाईल्स ॲज वेल ॲज डिनाईल ऑफ सर्व्हिस विल बी देअर मीन्स there will be modification in the message which is going to be sent from sender to receiver and if there will be third party or attacker in between the communication then denial of service will be also there now again we will see passive attack and active attacks in detail passive attack there are two types release of message content the release of message content means there will be the telephonic commun- uh, conversation and electronic mail message or transferred file from one person to other person uh, like attachment which we are going to send from emails now see this diagram it shows there are three persons that is bob and alice and dark is the person who is the third party which is not authorized person between the communication so dark is going to be read the message which is going on between the alice and bob now second one that is traffic analysis in the traffic analysis the common technique means we are masking the contents that is encryption will be there an opponent might still be able to observe the pattern of the message which is going on between sender and receiver so there could be location stress or you can say there will be observation of the frequency and length of the message can be guessed by the third party that is traffic analysis now next is active attack in active attack again there will be the different categories which are there will, uh, will uh, modify the data and creation of false stream will be there between sender and receiver so these four categories are masquerade replay modification and uh, whenever we are taking place of one message to other that is masquerade takes place when one entity pretends to be different entity a masquerade attack usually it includes one form of the active attack where the person who is going to be pretend as the unauthorized then in the next uh, modification of message means whatever the person is going to be a uh, share that will be modified by the other person that is simply whatever the communication between sender and receiver will be recorded reordered or delayed and provide the unauthorized effect third one is replay which involves passive capture now replay means fraudulent repeated of the messages means many time that message can be seen now see here uh, the person dark he is going to read the message of bob and alice so that will be the fraudulent message seen by the dark next is denial of service now in the denial of service which prevents or in inhibits the normal use of management for example bob and dark they are communicating with each other as well as alice is the authorized person but whatever communication ge- uh, going on between the bob and dark that will be accessed by the dark and dark is going to modify that content and that will send to the alice now here Uh, the read of contents will not be there only read of contents will not be there whatever services provided by the 
internet or other common facility that is also going to be observed and that facility also going to be fraudulent by the third party so these are the different types of attacks which can be occur when communication is going on now we will learn about the different encryption and decryption technique which can be prohibit the security attacks and in that there are different key points that is plain text and cipher text encryption or enciphering deciphering or decryption cryptography crypt analysis and cryptology so we will learn this uh, concept now what is mean by plain text and cipher text when the sender is going to send the message that will be the plain text and cipher text means that plain text is converted into the encoded format that is mean by cipher text now this process that is plain text being converted into cipher text this process is called as enciphering or encryption now vice versa whenever receiver receives that message that will be decrypted by that receiver now what is mean by decryption that is whatever cipher text we got that will be encoded sorry decoded in the decryption format which is known as deciphering now what is mean by cryptography the process of encryption the process of encryption is known as cryptography and the process of decryption is known as crypt analysis means both are related to each other now one more key term is there that is cryptology means the process of both ciphering and enciphering and deciphering uh, together are known as the cryptology now in the symmetric cipher model these are the five ingredients we need whenever we are doing encryption and decryption in that first is plain text second is encryption algorithm third is secret key fourth one is cipher text and fifth one is decryption algorithm plain text means plain message which you want to send to the receiver and encryption means whatever message you want to send that will be encoded in the format of decryption and for that purpose we need mathematical algorithm that will be encryption algorithm now when we are using this encryption algorithm there will be secret key now this secret key is only once will be provided by the sender and as well as on the receiver side whenever that encrypted message is going to be received that receiver is going to use cipher text with the decryption algorithm with same secret key so secret key will be uh, same on the sender as well as receiver side now in the uh, symmetric encryption this diagram it shows the symmetric encryption now main purpose of the encryption that is you have to protect your data or information so there will be two requirements or you can say strong points of the symmetric encryption that is secret key which is known as k secret key is uh, determined or defined as k and encryption algorithm and this encryption algorithm should be strong enough to protect the encryption now in this process see there will be the plain text that will be denoted as x and this x will be converted into cipher text by encryption algorithm and using secret key k now whatever cipher text is generated that will be denoted by y equal to e in bracket k comma x now in this e means encryption algorithm k means uh, secret key and x means input message or whatever plain text is there now whenever this message is received on the receiver side the same message will be decrypted by same key 
which is known as or which is formulated as x equal to d in bracket t comma y. Now here x is x is plane message. D means decryption algorithm. K means secret key and y means cipher text. So again we will get this plain text after decryption process. So this is all about symmetric encryption. Now in the symmetric encryption there will be the mathematical representation of mathematical representation of x and y that is y equal to e in bracket k comma x and x equal to d in bracket k comma y where x is plain text y is cipher text so all these are the ingredient uh, ingredients we require for the encryption and decryption thank you